You know, I am so confident with all of my predictions for this year's Academy Awards. <laughs> I got it wrong. I got it all wrong. What's going on everyone and happy Oscars day. Oh my gosh, the 94th Oscars are upon us. If you're watching this, good morning, good afternoon, or good evening. I am so excited to get into every single one of my predictions for this year's Academy Awards. Yes, we're going from top to bottom, even the categories I'm not too familiar with. I'm just gonna take a wild guess. And if you're wondering, of course I'm dropping my reactions to all of the winners and losers of this year's Academy Awards tonight, so you're not gonna wanna miss out. Y'all go ahead and hit the big red button below, subscribe to the channel, tap on that bell, and hit the thumbs up button if you are a big fan of Oscar season, and get loud down below with your predictions, because I wanna see your list. Who do you got winning? Who do you got losing? Let's see if we're all wrong together, which we probably will be. Alrighty, so no more blabbering. Let's go ahead and get started with my predictions. Alrighty, guys, so we're starting with actor in a leading role. This is a very, um, I want to say it's a tough category to pick, especially after the last couple of months. Before, I would have chosen clearly Benedict Cumberbatch as the winner, but I'm going to go with a pick that I want to win and also who I think will win, and that is my dog, Will Smith. Let's lock him in. Let's go Big Willy style, baby. <laughs> I try to do the laugh that he does. It's not working. Let's move on to actor in a supporting role, you guys. Now, here's a category that I'm going to be honest. Before, I would have said ah, maybe Cody Smith McPhee or even I want to say uh, Jesse Plemons was sneaking in as a dark horse pick. But guess what? Troy Kotzer, I think, has this in the bag. Love that dude. He is amazing. So we're locking in Troy Kotzer here for actor in a supporting role. Now, this is is one of the tougher categories of the night and i'm gonna be honest with you it is kind of a toss-up uh at first everyone was saying nicole kidman and i was saying please lord no but uh, no offense to nicole kidman she's a great actress it's just uh not for being the ricardos uh kristen stewart uh she's the person i want to see win. i was over the moon if you missed my reaction it's probably going to play in the next two seconds of her getting nominated kristen stewart, kristen stewart got nominated i told y'all i told you I, I told some of y'all but i told y'all but honestly, I don't think she, just kidding, I know she's gonna win, or I hope she's gonna win. I went from being really confident to not confident, but guess what? I think she's gonna win, so I'm locking in Kristen Stewart. Even though, if Jessica Chastain does take this one, I'll be very happy, but I have a funny feeling. The Academy is gonna give it to Kristen Stewart, and if that happens, y'all, <laughs> you heard it here first. Or somewhere else on Twitter. Alrighty, so let's get right into actress in a supporting role. For me, this is easy. This is the lock of the night. This is the easiest pick of the night for me. It's Ariana DeBose. Let's go, girl. You are going to get this. Why did it not bold properly? How dare you? <laughs> Apple doesn't want her to win, but she's going to win anyway. I cannot wait for her to take home this award. Now, I think the person who might sneak up, honestly... Judy Dench. I know, I don't want to say it, but there's some rumblings, guys, and I have a funny feeling that if anyone other than Ariana DeBose wins this, it's going to be Judy Dench, and uh, I just, I'd rather Ariana DeBose. Now, my pick who I want to win would be Anjanu Ellis, because y'all, stop underrating her performance in King Richard. She was incredible. Alrighty, so let's get into animated feature film, and you know what? I don't even have to think twice, y'all. I know who's going to win, and I know who I want to win, and that is the Mitchells versus the Machines. Let's go. Mitch Mitchell's versus the Machines Hive stand up. I'm excited. Uh, the only other film here that I think could possibly make a run at it actually is Flea. I'm not even kidding. I, I think Flea could maybe make a run at this. Uh, that or Luca because, you know, Pixar and all. So let's go ahead and move on to cinematography now, guys. <laughs> you guys know Dune is my number one movie, right? If not, check out my top 10 of the year. Uh, but man, Dune is just beautiful. Nightmare Alley actually had yeah, the cinematography probably is the best part of that film. The Power of the Dog looks pretty good, but I will say that it might actually be the weakest of the bunch. Now, one movie that I think actually might win this is West Side Story, but I'm still going with Dune for cinematography. So I'm locking in Dune. Don't mess with your boy, but if I had to pick a number two, uh, West Side Story, because Janusz Kaminski did an amazing job with that film. It really is gorgeous so let's move on to costume design now this gets a little tough you know what i am actually curious about who might take this award sorry i know there was probably an awkward edit right there it's because i for some reason thought i got one of the nominees wrong like maybe something was missing here but no everything is correct so moving on to costume design see this is exactly how smooth uh, the night will go won't it <laughs> so costume design for me is i would say 
not as easy as I once thought. I'm looking at this now and some of these categories I'm looking over again for the first time. I haven't actually gone back at all today before this video to sort of think about my predictions. I mean, I know for some of them who I think will win, but for this category, it's a little bit tougher. I will have to go though with Cruella. I do think Cruella wins for costume design. Did y'all even see this movie? I mean, Emma Stone, <laughs> my gosh, that one scene alone where she's going to the red carpet, incredible. Alrighty, so let's get into directing. And now directing is an interesting one, right? Because usually, um, you know, if the director of the best picture film, it, you know, it kind of goes hand in hand sometimes. Uh, but I'll be honest, I do think it goes to Jane Campion for The Power of the Dog. The Power of the Dog, I don't think is going to be as big of a winner as many people think it will be uh, for Oscars night. But I do think that Jane Campion takes it here. Uh, runner up most likely will have to be uh, Kenneth Branagh for Belfast. Um, I just don't see the other movies kind of st staying in the conversation for too long. However, the one movie that might creep up and surprise people. West Side Story. Steven Spielberg might get his Oscar here again. So uh, let's see what happens. Uh, but let's move on to the documentary feature. This is, uh, oh boy. Uh, you know what, guys? I was saying Flea for a while. I was so set on Flea, but guess what? I think Summer of Soul or When the Revolution could not be televised will take this one. Quest Love get you Oscar, baby. I can't wait. I hope actually that movie wins it, but I do think it will. So let's uh, go on to a category that I actually don't know much about. I'm sorry, I'm being honest with y'all. Uh, documentary short subject. Now, uh, ride with me, guys. We're going to pick one here. Let's go ahead. You know what? I love basketball. Going with the queen of basketball because of the name. Uh, yeah, I feel bad. I know. I'm trying to get better, but it's just kind of tough. So film editing. Now, here's an interesting one because... I at one point thought, okay, King Richard or Dune has this one in the bag, but you know what guys, for film editing, ah man, I want to say Tick Tick Boom, I really do, but I do think that we will get the power of the dog winning here. Now I want Tick Tick to, uh, Tick Tick Boom, excuse me, it's a Tick Tick Dune, <laughs> it's a collaboration, I want that to win. Uh, but I just think for film editing, they'll probably give it to the power of the dog. The Academy, for some of the surprises we've seen in the last decade, I do think it's still a little bit predictable. And I think that the power of the dog is the safe and the correct pick here for film editing. Now let's move on to international feature film, you guys. And guess what? You know, at first, again, I thought Flea was going to take it. That or the hand of God. But you know what? I think Drive My Car has this. It's a lock for me. International feature film going to Japan this year. So uh, let's see what happens. But I do think it does pick it up. The runner up would be the worst person in the world, though. If, and then then Flea. So that's the one, two, three for me. Uh, makeup and hairstyling. Now, okay, y'all. This is going to be interesting. Now, if I had to pick one here, um, it wouldn't be House of Gucci. Now, if it does win, I'm going to be screaming, why, Paolo, why? But um, no, I do think it goes to the eyes of Tammy Faye. Let's go, y'all. Um, you know what? Honestly, not that I think about it. If Jessica Chastain does win for the eyes of Tammy Faye, I'm still going to be over the moon. She's great. But I do think that it will win for makeup and hairstyling here. Wouldn't be surprised if Dune kind of comes around the corner and picks that one up. But I do think it is the eyes of Tammy Faye. So music original score. Y'all know I love my scores and y'all know which one I'm going to pick, right? Actually, do I know which one I'm going to pick? Of course. <laughs> I fooled you guys. It's going to Hans Zimmer for Dune. Did y'all even listen to not just that one soundtrack he released for the film, but he released like two more, like for the art book and something else. Like, goodness gracious, Hans Zimmer was in his bag with Dune. So let's go on to music original song. <laughs> Guys, I'm gonna be honest. I love me some Dos Oruguitas. That song is amazing. Now, No Time to Die, and listen, James Bond songs, it kind of just is like one of those things where everyone predicts a James Bond song to win. And uh, I'm not gonna lie, I'm not picking either of those songs. I'm picking Be Alive. Let's go, baby. Let's go ahead and get this, Beyonce. Come on now. Uh, but if not, Be Alive, of course, I think Dos Oruguitas will pick this one up. This might be the first time in a while that I'm actually not confident that a James Bond song will win, and I'm okay with that. Even though I like No Time to Die, Billie Eilish, she crushed it. Um, nah, just Be Alive for me. It's the strongest, and I think it will win. So let's go ahead and move on to production design, guys. I think we're almost done. But uh, production design... Man, I I just don't know. I Tragedy of Macbeth actually probably does deserve it here, but I'm going to go with maybe an unpopular pick and not choose Dune, not choose The Power of the Dog or West Side Story, 
I'm choosing Nightmare Alley. Uh, it's kind of weird to see Nightmare Alley get nominated as much as it did, to be honest, at this year's Academy Awards, because I just didn't think it was even Guillermo del Toro's best film. But, uh, man, uh, yeah, okay, we're going Nightmare Alley for production design, you know? We're gonna go with the gut on this one. Uh, short film animated. Uh, here's another one that we're gonna have to guess, guys. <laughs> what are we choosing? I don't know, but uh, Robin Robin sounds good. Just reminds me of Red Robin. Miss those burgers, man. It's been a while. Okay, so we're going with short film live action. And I actually um, have maybe a dog in the fight here. And I'm going to go with a long goodbye. Come on now, Rizamed. What up? It's your boy. Um, okay, so going on now to sound. This is actually... Oh, this is, oh, is kind of tough, yo. I don't know, because I thought I was going to pick Dune. <laughs> Who am I kidding? Of course I'm picking Dune, guys. Come on now. Did y'all even watch Dune? It's gonna sweep some of these technical categories, y'all. I, I can't even lie to you. Uh, Dune is going to win for best sound. Now let's go on to best visual effects. This is an interesting one, guys, especially for the fact that Free Guy got nominated. And for all you haters about Shang-Chi and the Legend of the Ten Rings, that third act was amazing. That battle sequence was great. Everyone was saying, CGI doesn't look good. Yes, it does. And good enough to get nominated for an Oscar. <laughs> All right, I'm done being petty. Um, If I had to choose one I wanted to win, it would be No Way Home because I just freaking love Spider-Man. But um, visual effects here, I... Oof, boy, I think it goes to Dune. Yep, I think Dune takes it. You know what's so funny, though? Uh, I feel like Dune had a lot more practical effects than visual effects, but I just think the Academy is going to give it to him here. So writing adapted screenplay. Now here is an interesting one because for a while I thought it would be The Lost Daughter and then I went to The Power of the Dog and now I'm thinking about Coda. Drive My Car and Dune I think are on the outside looking in here. So let's go ahead and narrow this down y'all. I don't think The Lost Daughter is going to get it and I, mm, oof, I don't know man. I'm going to go with The Power of the Dog here. Yeah, I think that's the safe bet, but it's also, I think, the correct choice here once again. So let's now move on to writing original screenplay. Oh boy, cannot believe Licorice Pizza's there. I mean, I kind of can, but I can't. Um, Y'all, I'm going to go with an upset here. The worst person in the world. <laughs> Some people are gonna probably jump out of their, um, I don't know, respected sets if that one wins. So let's go ahead and move on to the biggest award of the night. Best picture, y'all. Oh my gosh, this is a tough one. Let's go ahead and read off the list here. We got Belfast, Coda, Don't Look Up, Drive My Car. <laughs> It's just so funny to say that because, you know, I only trust one person in the world to drive my car. You have Dune, King Richard, Licorice Pizza, Nightmare Alley, again, a surprise there, The Power of the Dog, and West Side Story. This is going to sound weird, guys, but I just don't think West Side Story wins one single award outside of Ariana DeBose, right, for West Side Story. And um, here, I think it's the same thing. I think West Side Story's out, Nightmare Alley is out, Licorice Pizza's out. Uh, as sad as it's to say, I mean, I love King Richard, but I think it's out as well. I think best picture goes to, ooh, this is so tough. It's between, for me, The Power of the Dog and Coda. If you had to ask me at the beginning of the year, though, um, it probably would be between Belfast and Dune, but uh, boy, how the turntables, huh? <laughs> Caught that reference. Alrighty, we're having fun tonight, guys, um, or this morning. I just I don't keep track of the time or days at all. Um, okay, so... I'm gonna go here with the power of the dog. I know it's not a sexy pick. It's not at all. You know what? I almost said F that, but I didn't say it. So you know what? Let's not go with the power of the dog, guys. Let's get crazy, okay? Let's have fun here and go with Coda. How about that, huh? How about Coda coming in and just winning best picture, huh? Let's go now. I'm ready. I'm sticking to it. You know what? And if it wins, maybe that that puts me over. You know, I, I end up getting a better score than last year, which was uh, not very good. So uh, there you have it, guys. Those are my predictions. And you know what? For um, record keeping, let's go from top to bottom again and uh, read off my nominees in case, or my winners, uh, of course, because uh, some people skip to the end of the video. Uh, this is the part of the video, of course, where I give you my overall, you know, list all over again. So actor in a leading role, I have Will Smith for King Richard, actor in a supporting role, Troy Kotzer for Coda, actress in a leading role, you guys, got Kristen Stewart, I know, probably not popular, it's probably gonna go to Jessica Chastain for most people, but Kristen Stewart, I think, wins, I said it, if she got nominated, she's gonna win it, so I'm sticking to it, actress in a supporting role, we have Ariana DeBose for West Side Story, animated feature film, The Mitchells versus The Machines, all right, <laughs> Furby Supremacy, stand up, uh, we have cinematography, Dune, uh, Greg Fraser was in his bag, bro, and he's gonna win it here, you have costume design, I'm picking Cruella, and then you have for directing, The Power of the 
Dogs, so Jane Campion, I think, takes this one. Just to mind your words when you're saying your speech. Oops, too soon. Documentary feature, Summer of Soul or When the Revolution Could Not Be Televised. <laughs> Love. let's go baby documentary short subject the queen of basketball because um it's basketball so uh <laughs> yeah it's a bad reason film editing we have the power of the dog of course i was struggling with that one wasn't i international feature film come on drive my car let's do it baby makeup and hairstyling you have the eyes of tammy faye and then for music original score we're going with papa hans zimmer for dune music original song i do think it's be alive i can neither confirm nor deny i've played that song about 20 times then you have production design nightmare alley because we'll throw the dog a bone um short film animated i do think it's robin robin actually i don't really know why i think that again just to kind of guess there short film live action the long goodbye let's go riz Ahmed. and then you have for sound i think dune gets this one visual effects dune again and then we have writing adapted screenplay we're giving that one to jane campions for the power of the dog and then you have original screenplay i think that is the worst person in the world might be a little bit of an upset there huh best picture goes to coda now that is going to be <laughs> i'm conflicted it's either nope nope sticking with it i was gonna say coda or the power of the dog but i do think it is coda let's go guys i cannot wait for this year's oscars tonight is gonna be a wild one now again if you don't want to miss out on my reactions to both the winners and the losers all night long you're gonna want to go ahead and hit the big red button below subscribe to the channel tap on that bell and hit the thumbs up button again if you're a big fan of oscar season and let me know down below in the comments exactly what you think is going to be the the, the definitive list of winners i need to know your predictions down below i'm excited to see what you guys have to say Alrighty, guys well um thanks so much for tuning in having some fun and i'm gonna go and try to take a little power nap before the oscars tonight again thanks so much for watching and i'll catch you at the next screening now where's my bottle of water i'm so thirsty